The legacy of the NASL is called S-O-C-C-E-R. It's a cliche, it's true. It's, uh, these were truly the, uh, the soccer uh, pioneers in this country. If there was no NASL, there wouldn't be in any professional league in the United States right now. The play got here, this game exploded in this country. He helped bring Giorgio Kinali, he helped bring Freud, he helped bring Georgie Bess. It was probably the most thrilling time in American soccer. I couldn't take my eyes off the game. I couldn't take my eyes off the players. I loved it. And you can make the parallels to me in other sports were the Yankees of the 70s good or bad for baseball because they were the best team, right? So were the, were the Cosmos with Pelé, Beckenbauer, Canalia, etc. were they bad for the sport or good for the sport? Everything was about being the biggest and being the best. It was kind of the perfect storm. And the money and the ego was, was insane. Studio 54, Henry Kissinger, you know, Mick Jagger, they're in hanging out with you. This was a league that was hip, a league that was, <laughs> for three or four years, the biggest thing in a particular city. It was the best of times. It was the best for all of us. Um, the damnedest thing about it is that it didn't last long enough. <laughs> <laughs>